Oh, they've been very good. The service has been been great. You know, they've been in here working on stuff when it needs to. Uh, the installations have been prompt. Um, everything has, has really been, been top notch. I, I continue to do business with them today. Welcome back to MTD CNC. I am at Adept Manufacturing and Gaging LLC today in Wisconsin. Now, it's a lot of snow outside, but there's a lot of heat in here. And one thing I want to talk about, and sorry folks, I got to do it again, is money, 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 money. Because my buddy Matt right here was talking about how some of the jobs he was trying to bring into Adept were large jobs. And the machines that he was running previously kind of are only man operated. So one man, one machine, one woman, one machine, that kind of thing, right? Until he invested in this Nakamura, which is why I had to sing that song a little bit. Matt, you've invested in the Nakamura. You have a contract with the Nakamura, 10,000 pieces a month, right? This has allowed you to compete with those big jobs, to bid on those big jobs and really become more profitable as a company too, right? Correct. So can we expand on that a little bit and talk about what you've done uh, with this Nakamura to gain those contracts and do more within your company? Well, having the bar fed technology and the milling capability of this machine allowed me to take on the milled parts that I'm accustomed to and have the automation built in. I like that you brought that up already because I know it's a topic we're going into. Would you guys believe that although this is a incredible multitasking turning center, Matt is using it as a milling center. Now, We've done a couple of interviews like this previously. What makes you utilize this for, it's, it's actually a milling part in there you're using, right? Yeah, yeah, it comes off a round stock, but, uh, but at the end of the day, it's not a round part. At the end of the day, it's not a round part. And also, when we talk, go back to the beginning of this conversation, you mentioned you're, well, I mentioned you're a milling guy. You're used to milling, but you wanted to get more. And that bar feed has really allowed you to do that instead of taking parts on, taking parts off. And later, we're gonna look at a robot that Matt's invested in as well, but that's a different story at a different time. But currently, the bar feed will allow you to do that all day, all night, 24 hours a day, seven day a week operation that you've been wanting to do. You just turn the turning center into a mill. That's correct. Yeah, having twin, twin turrets, um, twin spindles, and Y-axis on both allows me to do all the milling I need. Yeah, twin turrets. So I actually did an interview <clears throat> just yesterday on a machine, uh, the Nakamura machine actually, where a customer was able to take a single turret, take that same part, put it into a twin turret, and reduce cycle times by 40% by utilizing things like pinch turning, by utilizing the live tools on the inside. Are you getting creative with this as well? Yeah, I have, um, uh, when I generate threads, you know, a lot of people say, oh, you're gonna tap, you're gonna, you're gonna cut the threads. No, I, I, do, I do thread milling. You know, I try and keep everything as reliable as possible. So I don't have to worry about anything happening, lights out, you know. Yeah, that makes sense. Now, if it's okay with you, I'd like to bring up to the audience as well, because as we all know, it's a buzzword. And the buzzword is the is automation. But it, the automation buzzword is due to the fact that we're all going through a labor shortage of some sort. It's just really difficult to find quality people. Now, here at your company, we have seven really great machines, but you're running it with two to three people on a regular basis, allowing you to really get into that automation world. How has that benefited you? And also, that's the direction you're going moving forward as well, isn't it? Yeah, I'm trying to keep medium volume jobs for the eight hours or 10 hours that the shop is open, and then trying to get into that 10,000, 20,000 parts a month for the automation for the nighttime. I like that. Now, the last question I'm going to ask you before I let you off the hot seat, my friend, is Nakamura obviously comes from our friends over at Methods Machine Tools. What's that relationship like with those guys? Oh, they've been very good. The service has been been great. You know, they've been in here working on stuff when it needs to. Uh, the installations have been prompt. Um, everything has is, is really been, been top notch. I, I continue to do business with them today. So, so for everyone watching, the Nakamura is that pinnacle when it comes to multitasking, flexibility, rigidity. A guy like Matt, who's a milling guy, actually can turn the turning center into a milling machine as well, or vice versa, based on the contracts that come in. And that's how we become profitable. Thank you all for watching MTD CNC. We will see you again soon. Matt, let's go take a look at the other machines, shall we?